everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my let's play of No Man's Sky. This is the fourth episode and today we're going to try to follow our new signal. It's right over here, 51 minutes away. I think the signal is not on this planet since it's so far away and I'm debating do I pick these up and take them with me. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's try to pick this up. Let's try to pick this up and this. Now, I do not think we can pick up the biofuel reactor or this base terminus. And I do not think we can pick up any of the walls or anything like that. So we'll leave this base here with these two pieces here. And I don't think we can pick up the um, base computer here either. So we're going to leave all of that here. And we're going to go and explore and see if we can find this signal so let's head over to the ship all right let's press uh w to go let's head over to this signal and see how far away it is maybe i was wrong maybe it is on this planet planet okra entering atmosphere Jeez, did I? Now, I've seen this before. We passed this on the way to find one of the signals. I believe in the second episode we passed this. No, I didn't. I just flew past it. Let me see if I can land in this circle. Maybe right now. Beautiful park job right there. What do we have here? Wings of the Anomaly. Crater Terminal. Log damaged. Partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Let's request a log here. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. The schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Ooh, a hyperdrive. That sounds interesting. Let's take this blueprint. I pull the blueprint from the computer. But the hyperdrive is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. All right, we need some chromatic metal and a microprocessor. I know how to get the chromatic metal. So it says purchase microprocessors. access the ship's inventory we can't do that in flight now can we find our our base from here i think that's it right there maybe we're gonna have to go back and i've picked and i've packed up too early what's this i've not seen this before What's all this? Let's land here. Is this someone's base or? I'm not exactly sure. This place is thrashed. Terminal online. 
Universal Translation Service reached. Lifeform Dictionary available. We have learned the word the in Gek. Gotta start someplace. Let's go over to this one and see what's in here. Extract nanites. We received 66 nanites. And there is another berry technology module right here. Some salvaging data. Oh, just taking a look around. I really just love the atmosphere so far. Now, can we get into this thing? Is there any door to this? There is an entrance here, it looks like. A transmitting tower. Long ago, it seems, an automated distress call went unanswered. If I crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. 1, 2, 6, 24, 120. I'm not sure what this means. Let's do the middle one. No signal found. No signal found. Can I bring, can I do this again? No, I can't. We can search this. Carbon is always welcome. This is very cool. I really like it. All right, we looks like we failed that test. Now, let's try to get back to our little base and set our stuff back up, I think, is probably the best option so we can build these parts. There's a very large creature right there. Look at that guy. Interesting. I think our base is over here. Yes, base number one. Let's step on the gas. All right, here is our base. Pretty good landing job this time. Not bad. All right, I'm going to set up our equipment again. And then we're going to start looking for a copper deposit so we can start making these parts that we need. And let's access this. And we are going to put in the copper we have. And we need some fuel. Let's put in that... Let's start this up. This is the chromatic metal we need. Let's let this run for a little bit and see if we can find another copper deposit. All right, to install the hyperdrive. And let's install something. We're gonna install the hyperdrive here. And we need 125 chromatic metal. I am not sure how to make these microprocessors yet. 
require components. Purchase microprocessors. Maybe we have to go to the Starbase and buy that. Let's make the chromatic metal first here. Let's try to find another copper field or copper vein. Copper deposit. Let's tag that one. Let's get our ship and see if we can find that. Hopefully it's not one that we have not, that we've mined out already. Now, where is it? There it is. All right, there is the copper deposit. Real close, actually. Let's hit E and see if we can land over here. Could have just walked over here, I guess. I have to look at the distances. I'm still learning a lot about this game. Alright, we're done gathering some copper. Let's grab my ship again and just fly it right back to the base. And let's refine the last of this copper. And I think we're done here. Let's pick this up. Let's go back to the ship and see if we can repair the hyperdrive. Chromatic metal is done. We need a microprocessor and it says that we need to return to the star base to do that. The space station. So let's get in our ship. Take off. Let's go straight up. All right, so there is the space station. Let's fly to it as fast as possible here. Let's fly into it now. Initiating docking procedure. Moving at Carter Station Tower. back in the space station. Now let's see if we can buy the microprocessors. And it looks like we can get them right over here. Galactic Trade Terminal. And we want... Microprocessors. I think we need five of them. Holy smokes, that's going to take a large chunk of our money. Yeah, took a, over half. Objective complete. Install the hyperdrive. Objective updated. Awakenings. Now it wants us to return to our ship. Let's do that. Auto diagnostics report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status. Empty. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars. But without warp cells, I will be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Let's tune the scanner to antimatter. Right, so it wants us to 
used to do that. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to leave. Let's do that. Initiating planetary approach. Planet Geisha Mok. There's an antimatter trace right here. Let's land. Oh boy. get rid of this plant. A new planet discovered. Protection it's not that far. 266U... There's some crazy creatures here. Look at that. There's some rolling balls. Wow. Oh, that. That is so cool right there. That puts a smile on my face. Look at that. Look at this. We have found it. Let's walk over there. What are these things? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Let's get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Low on charge. Are they after me? smokes oh my goodness all right those are attackers before building. What is all of this stuff? Terminal online. Selecting key. Decrypting. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking, crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Alright, let's take this blueprint and read the log. You will find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. It looks like we have everything. Objective updated. Awakenings. Wow. So it wants us to craft antimatter.
Ow. All right, let's try to create some antimatter. Assemble antimatter housing. We need to gather some oxygen. Now, I think oxygen comes from plants. Ooh, it's way over there. There is our ship. Let's go grab this oxygen. Oh, that's awesome. Get down there. That is really cool. So it wants me to gather ferrite dust. Well, that's pretty easy. Alright, now we have to create the antimatter housing. Antimatter housing right here. And then craft a warp cell. All right, now we have to fuel our ship. Look at that thing. Great stuff. All right, let's see if we can fuel our ship now. Hyperdrive. We want a warp cell in there. Well, it looks like we have everything refueled and we have built the hyperdrive and we're ready to launch, but we're going to call that an episode for today. So thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.